Okay, we have here another integral. This one's from MIT integration, B2020, number eight. We've got the integral natural log x squared plus one dx. For this one, I don't really have any creative ideas. I just know when we've got a natural log integral, even when almost regardless of what the input is, oftentimes what we can do is integration by parts. So let's try this using the DI method, tabular integration over here to the right. We only have one thing. I can create a one. That's a pretty bad one, but we can create that one there to integrate and just differentiate the whole natural log expression. We'll go ahead and differentiate this first. So what's gonna happen, derivative of this is gonna be one over x squared plus one, but we need chain rule differentiating this. We're gonna get a two x popping out here. Integrate this, that's just an x. And then we're gonna have part of the solution on the diagonal. So what we have is gonna be just x, natural log, x squared plus one, and then our integral, all this with a minus sign. So what we're gonna have is minus two x times x, two x squared over x squared plus one. But now this integral here, this is not gonna to be too bad. I can just, we can just probably manipulate this with some algebra. Let me get a little bit of space. First, let's take this two and bring it out front of the integral as a constant right here. We'll make it a skinny two. And then for x squared, if I just add a plus one, that way the whole integral is one. I don't wanna change it, so I'll subtract off one. So we're just adding zero. But then for this minus one, let's break this off and create a second integral. Minus one times minus two is gonna give me a plus two, and it's just gonna be over the denominator, so it's just gonna be dx over x squared plus one. But if we cancel this, we're just integrating one, so I think we can basically finish it off, so it's gonna be x, ln x squared plus one. Here, integrating one, that's just gonna be an x, so we have minus two x plus two. Integral here of one over x squared plus one, that's just gonna be arctan of x, add a plus c, and that's it. Wow, so that one was actually almost too easy. If I had another one, if I had another problem ready, I would just do that. Um, let's see. <laughs> let's see if I can find a, let's see if I can find another problem. Let's go backwards and do number two really quick. I don't usually do this, but we'll do number two from MIT 2020. Okay, so here we have number two from MIT 2020. Again, super easy, but I think it works doing two integrals in one video. So for this one, one thing you need to be concerned about is convergence when we're going to infinity, but since this is in the denominator, we should be okay. I think what I wanna do is in order to set up a u substitution, and also I forgot my dx, so let's put that dx in. Then to clean this up, let's multiply in by one, multiplying by e to the minus x over e minus x. When we do this, now we're going zero to infinity, e minus x, dx, multiply that in, we get one plus e minus x. And then for this here, we can do a u substitution, really easy. I was gonna do just e minus x, but let's do the whole thing, right? Let's do e minus x plus one, getting the whole denominator. Take a derivative, du is gonna be just minus e minus x. That's a zero when we differentiate dx. So now to set this up, let's just multiply a minus in here out front just to match our du, but we don't wanna change it. We multiply a minus there. And then when we substitute, we'll plug in infinity here. This is going to zero, but then we get the plus one. So upper bound one. Then plug in a zero, this becomes a one plus one, lower bound is two. And then our substitution is gonna clean everything up because the whole denominator is, sorry, the whole numerator is du, and this is all gonna be just u. Let's take this minus sign, and I can use it to flip the bounds. So we're going from one to two. Go ahead and integrate. What we get is natural log, absolute value. Let's just leave it. So we'll have, we don't need it, but we'll leave the absolute value for the second. And then we're going from one to two. Plug in, what we get is natural log of two minus natural log of one. This is just zero. And so for my final solution, we get just natural log of two, and that's it. Okay, there you go, quick and easy, MIT 2020. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.